our 33rd project, Anrisala, was in October, November 2017 at Observatory Hill. Naomi and I have known Henri for several years beforehand as we were planning a project much earlier. But the Venice Biennale got in the way and in 2013, he represented France at Venice with a beautiful work called Ravel, Ravel, Unravel, which we were fortunate enough to see. But the last resort was definitely worthwhile waiting. And I personally feel a deep gratitude for Henri for creating especially such a work for us here in Australia. On a previous site visit, Henri made a study of Australian history, met academics, Aboriginal elders, artists, and took with him a whole suitcase of books to prepare himself for a project. So finally, in 2017, the project happened on a beautiful site, the Rotunda on Observatory Hill. The work Henri created has Australia as its focus, but its values are so universal that after the premiere here in Sydney, it was shown in New York, in Moscow, in Luxembourg, to General Leclerc. You see the work, you feel the work through the music, you are held within the work by the rhythmic beat of the drums. The mirrored snare drums suspended from the ceiling reflect us and reflect our history. How 250 years ago, we came together very close to this spot and now share a common history. The work unfolds through Mozart clarinet concerto a masterpiece of the Enlightenment, composed three years after the first settlement in Sydney. Henri used as inspiration a diary kept by a Scottish migrant who came to Australia in 1838, who made a note every day in his diary of the wind. Whether it was becalmed, whether it was stormy, favorable, or against them. And he took Mozart's score and he altered it to reflect the wind. If it was stormy, he increased the tempo. If it was becalmed, he slowed it down. If it was favorable, he kept the original score. So in effect, in his words, he corrupted the original score to reflect the arduous journey from Europe to Australia. He used another example of a message in a bottle. So imagine if the score was put into a bottle, buffeted by the sea and winds, and finally it's washed ashore in Sydney Harbour. Through its trip, it changes, gets altered. So Henri took Mozart's masterpiece and imagined it landing in Australia in a different form. And that was played through the 38 snare drums, each drum representing a different instrument. The effect on the rotunda was very powerful. The reflections, the music, was like a nucleus that brought people together. Some lying on the floor, looking up at the drums, walking around to hear the different drums. Day and night, looking at the beautiful Sydney Harbour, imagining it how it was 250 years ago. It was a wonderful experience and one of our most memorable projects. The 38 snare drums suspended from the ceiling looked magically easy, but unbeknownst to the public, a lot of work has gone in beforehand. We had to build three different ceilings to house the wiring and all the electrical equipment. Fortunately, underneath the rotunda, there was enough space to put all the other equipment necessary. It was a real engineering feat to make it look so effortless. By some magic, everything worked together. An ideal site, 
a historical site, a wonderful piece of art by a great artist. It's really a dream come true for somebody like me. As I said at the beginning, I'm forever grateful for Henri for creating the last resort for us.